Hey Keto Clan, we're here with Tamara. This is our first maintenance meeting along her journey down the Dragon Keto path. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and introduce her right now. Hello. Oh, hi, <laughs> hi Tamara. Okay, so, um, uh, with uh, with how everything's uh, gone on, uh, it has been a couple of weeks, and uh, this is the first time that we're meeting up to uh, get um, uh, to get a status update uh, uh, and try to figure out uh, where our next steps are. Um, uh, any of you uh, who follow um, either of us online, uh, I'm sure you've seen that the uh, um, you know starting off, uh, she was having some uh, uh, pretty good success. Um, and, you know, with Tamara already being uh, on the healthier side, uh, starting this journey, uh, her body was adapting to things uh, much quicker. Uh, so we're going to go into a, a, a little bit more of that uh, as we go. But uh, Tamara, why don't you just uh, go ahead and let me know uh, how everything's going with, uh, uh, with the system as it is. Well, I'm not perfect, that's for sure. <laughs> None of us are. None of us are. And I was doing really good and then I left and went to Boise for four days and I just got back on Sunday. Um, so I started at like 158 I think is what I started at when I weighed in the first uh -huh. time. And I don't, I know I've never been completely out of ketosis when I've eaten more carbs than I should have. Yeah. Uh, but something dawned on me this morning it's it's still it was still healthy cards they are grain free you know all yeah, this yeah. were keto but it just on the higher level of carbs yeah. um but i didn't not it didn't knock me out of ketosis all the way so uh -huh. um you know it's pretty good at like 2.75 pretty much every morning i keep forgetting to do it right before i eat lunch and whatever <laughs> i'll get it eventually <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know it's a process you have to uh you have to establish habits yes yes you know, and, and that takes it's, time that takes time well like everything else i probably just need to put a reminder on my calendar hey before you eat check your ketone levels so um <laughs> anyway i love my scale i've figured out how to save my stats every day yeah. Um, when I was home, I couldn't wait, you know, when I wasn't home, I couldn't wait, but this is the thing. It's like, I didn't think I had any issues with food until, <laughs> until this weekend I started thinking about, it. it's like, I was extremely tired. Well, you know, you fly in an airplane, you get really dried out. You can't drink enough water. I, at That's least right. I don't feel like I can get enough in me. And... I was just like, when I, I figured out when I get tired like that, I'll just eat anything. So I have to have the right things with me yes. so I don't eat the wrong things. So that being said, I guess I do have a problem with a little bit of relationship problem with food. <laughs> yeah. And, um, but I've been eating more veggies. Spinach, that's just not one thing I buy, but I, I need to start. But because yeah. it goes bad so quickly, it's like I hate to buy the big bag at Costco and then I use this much of it and the rest of it goes to waste. But uh, so um, I, one of the one of the best things you can do for that is make yourself a salad every couple of days for for lunch, for dinner, something like that. Uh, just make know, sure that the, the spinach is the uh, the base for the salad. That's one thing I used to do. I used to use spinach and kale and romaine and all these leafy greens and make a big bowl uh -huh. and then just eat it every day. Yeah. So I do need to get back to that habit. Um, but that being said, I was 161 this morning, but I'm down body fat and other things. Yeah. And, I and that's, started those back are the more walking. important numbers. Good, yes, good. I wasn't I wasn't walking when I started, so I'm being pretty consistent. I'm working at least walking. I mean, at least five yeah. days a week. 
Good. So I haven't found, I'm going to, I was thinking today, I'm going to go get some of those weights. I don't know what happened to them. I used to have weights that uh -huh. I could adjust the weights. So when I'm yeah. walking, I'm getting uh -huh. more of a workout. So that's one thing I, I've got to get. But um, that's awesome. Love that idea. Love that bas idea. Basically, it's just, I've been testing the ketones because before I got that meter, I never knew if I was. <laughs> no idea, right? No so idea. It's like, oh, and and it's hard to make the right decisions on if you should eat something or if you shouldn't eat something w without that uh, that measurement right there. You know, um, right. th there's there's ways that you can tell if your body's in ketosis. But like for me right now, um, I I've been in ketosis solid for you know, almost a year, year and a half. Uh, right. Even though I have cycling days, I don't drop out of ketosis. I don't even know if I would be able to recognize right now if I did drop out of ketosis because I kind of forgot what it felt like, you know? Um, I, I know when I've eaten something that I shouldn't because the next day I just feel like crap, but I know my body's still burning uh, ketones. Um, you know, and um, you're definitely in a position. Um, uh, so with my typical clients, uh, you are actually in the position uh, that uh, my typical client would be in in about six months to a year, right? Oh, wow. Where, yeah. So um, I mean, you're able to, um, you know, go a little bit above uh, uh, the, the cards that you're supposed to be having and uh, for you, it's just lowering your ketone level instead of knocking you out of ketosis, like um, like most of my clients that I work with. And um, you know that that's a, definitely a testament to um, the fact that your body didn't have a lot of healing that it needed to do, and, and you right. got into um, a you know a, a, a nutritional state of ketosis and keto adapted um, a lot faster, which is awesome. Which means that um, you know once you develop these habits right making sure that you have the good uh snacks around making sure that you have the good foods around even when you're um uh traveling right um and making sure that you develop the habit of checking your ketones before you eat and then after you know wait an hour after you eat and then check them again just to see what those particular foods do right right um you know, you might find that if you're not if you're not really tracking your food, if you're not tracking your ketones after you eat particular foods, um, I I would probably put money on the fact that there's going to be foods that you think are affecting you in a negative way that aren't, and foods that you think are really good and, and you know your body's doing good on them that that you really are. All um, right. You know, uh, uh, most resources out there say that tomatoes are, are you know, a good keto food. Uh, they are horrible for me. <laughs> right? It, I don't it, like it, them yeah. anyway. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> but, Everybody but, um, thinks I'm nuts, but it's like, yeah. oh, I don't like yeah. them. But, My mother's growing to be at a young age. <laughs> she um, forced yeah. me to eat them. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I, I was in a similar <laughs> boat, but then I started liking tomatoes again, and then I started this, and and uh, every time I had anything with with tomatoes, I, I saw my uh, my ketones drop. I'm like, ah, oh wow. Well, okay. they are pretty high in sugar. Yeah, and it's fructose too. Uh, fructose yeah. actually affects. Um, our ability to produce ketones um, a lot faster and, and a lot more readily than other forms of sugar. Uh, it's just the way fructose uh, breaks down in our body. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I can get into I all the sciencey stuff, but yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Can I, I think I need to track my calories. That's what I think. I think, I don't know. What do you think? Because I feel like okay. sometimes I'm eating too many. It's not that I don't know. I think I'm eating too much, too many calories. Because like first thing in the morning, I'm putting fat in my coffee. Well, I kind of backed off of that because I'm using a half avocado in my shake. 
with some protein uh-huh. powder and stuff. And I found some hemp protein powder. I'm so excited about. Oh, um, I've been looking at that. Yeah. Fr- Bob's Red Mill. Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's nothing. There's nothing in it but the hemp. It's like, you know me. Yeah. I'm the hempers here. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. um. Yeah, I've been putting a little bit of that. I've got some ancient nutrition um, protein powder because it's got collagen in it. You know, when you get to be yeah. my age, you need a little extra collagen. Uh, no, no. I, I, actually, the thing is, is um, when, yes, as, as you age, um, you need the extra collagen. But if you started off um, significantly bigger, you need the collagen too, because uh, being right. on a, a regular collagen regimen, you know, I lost 110 pounds, and I'm I'm down to 240 now. And wow! Was, uh, Congratulations! Uh, oh, thank you. Um, so it's 110 pounds for my heaviest. Um, but there, there's some skin. It, it's mm-hmm. going to happen, right? But um, being on a solid uh, collagen regimen over the course of you know a couple of years, it's definitely not. Uh, overnight, but over the course of a couple of years, um, the elasticity can come back uh, into the skin and actually tighten up your skin. Um, so collagen is actually very, very important. Uh, and starting awesome. it earlier on is better. Yeah. yeah. But to yeah. answer your question, mm-hmm. I am going to do the ultimate no-no and I am going to answer a question with a question. <laughs> Have you been eating at designated meal times, or have you been eating when you're hungry? Okay, so <laughs> the four days I was gone, I was eating when my friend needed to eat. I, I don't know if I was necessarily, I can't figure out if I was hungry or not, I can't remember. I think I was, because we were just, it was hot and we were hustling around doing stuff, but so you were using I, energy. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I wasn't sleeping in my own bed for three nights and the whole thing. So I don't, yeah. I usually don't sleep very well when I'm gone either. That's especially when it's yeah. a short time. So yeah. everything was kind of off, but, um, so typically I try, what, when I'm home, I only eat when I'm hungry. Okay. So you can track your calories. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, tracking your calories is fine, uh, and and especially uh, some of the apps like uh, My Fitness Pal and Card Manager, where you're tracking your food. Uh-huh. Um, I, I I actually like that um, because it helps you determine what foods you're eating, and then you could um, uh, measure your ketones and everything, right? And kind of one of the byproducts of tracking your food through an app like that is it also tracks your calories okay right and i used to do a carb manager i'll have to download again yeah carb manager is a good one uh, my fitness pal i think like uh, comparing them apples to apples my fitness pal is a little bit better because it allows you to track your activity too or at least most of it you right. know so um, it will actually give you a, uh, a plus or minus of um, how many calories you've taken in to how many calories you've burnt because it tracks both, right? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, right. I'll look it up and... Yeah, yeah, my it. fitness pal. Um, but um, if you find that... All right, so for everybody else out there, I want you guys to kind of re- rewind back to the point where I told you all that uh, Tamara is like six months to a year ahead of most people at this point, okay? Uh, so the advice that I'm about to give is for somebody at that point in their journey, okay? Um, if you find that you are consuming more calories than you're burning, okay? Uh, simple fact is, in, in order to, um, you know, drop weight, in order to um, burn uh, fat, you need to be at a, a caloric deficit, okay? Um, the way I prefer people to get into a caloric deficit is they're only eating when they're hungry, 
and that will eventually mean that you're probably only eating once a day. Well, I found yeah. out when I'm putting that half of avocado in, and the protein and all that stuff I'm putting in that shake that I usually don't, because I'm putting my, my CBD coffee in that too. So yeah. I usually don't, when I was home, it's like even walking two miles a day, I wasn't even really like hungry, hungry, like shove stuff in my pie hole right now, kind of hungry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Until about like two o'clock, like, yeah. I look at the clock and go, "Oh my!" So, <laughs> but yeah, and, and then um, I let, can I say one more thing? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, could it be I'm not eat, getting enough calories from fat? Yes. And not drinking enough water. Yes. Yeah, because you're the. The fat is going to keep you more satiated. Okay. Or so basically, it, it, it make sure that you're not hungry. Tea, if I have a cup of tea like mid morning, should I put more fat in it? Yeah. Even though I had that half avocado, because avocados are pretty high in calories. Absolutely. Yeah, they're they're full of the most amazing fats in the world. Okay. Okay. That uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it is, um, it's monounsaturated fat, it's uh, soluble fiber, um, it, it's, it truly is a, a superfood, right? Okay. Um, and the thing is, is, I mean, me personally, I would put the whole avocado in there. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, seriously, so when... So my day job is uh, working construction. I uh, pull fiber optic cable through the casinos here in Vegas. Um, very, very physically demanding job. When I'm out on projects, um, I actually have a, a morning fat bomb shake that is made from uh, almond milk, heavy whipping cream, a stick of butter, uh, avocado and coconut oil oh lord <laughs> the, no so the shake is typically about 2,000 calories well that would just, be my whole day just shake, right <laughs> well it, it just about is I drink that and I don't have to eat again until like 6 6 30 at night now that is for somebody my size. I'm 240 pounds. I'm 170 pounds of muscle, and I'm working a very physically demanding job. Um, you know, by the end of that day, I have burned right. 2,000 plus calories, right? Right. So, um, but I mean, I know that because you know my fitness pal tracking everything, tracking my steps. It's amazing how many calories 20,000 steps in a day going up in that stairs does. Uh, <laughs> <but>, well, <laughs> yeah, I've only, right. I've got less than 5,000. So. <laughs> but yeah, and, so, um, you know, if you're finding yourself uh, getting hungry more often, uh, maybe increase your protein a little bit, increase your fat a little bit, okay? Because um, ultimately the goal, um, the, the whole concept of intermittent fasting um, most programs and, and most uh, coaches out there will tell you that you need to do it right away. Okay, I, I don't like doing that because your your body can naturally get to the point to where you only want to eat or you only feel the need to eat once a day. Okay, and then when when you think about that, um, you know if you're having your coffee in the morning and then you're not eating until you know dinner time, that one meal going to be a big meal you know if your coffee was you know 200 calories exactly <laughs> right if, if, if your coffee was 200 calories and you know you're at a calorie deficit of you know 2,000 calories for the day you have 1,800 calories that you could eat in one meal that's a good meal <laughs> yeah right mm -hmm. um but I also don't want people to be uncomfortable. I don't want you to be uncomfortable through the day trying to push yourself through the hunger either, right? So uh, when you're doing your shake in the morning with the half avocado, right? 
Um, I honestly think that putting a whole avocado in there might be a, a good start on pushing that two o'clock until maybe three o'clock. And then instead of eating a whole meal, have a snack, eat a fat bomb, right? What, whatever you got, uh, preferably not a sweet treat because those just trick your brain into thinking that you still need sweets, okay? Um, but, uh, you know, make one of my favorite things is like egg salad on a chaffle bun. Oh. Right? Mm -hmm. Just like one little, or, or tuna. You know, or or just make one chaffle, right? Make one chaffle and and put almond butter on it and eat that like like peanut butter toast. Yum. You know, it, oh, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I make my yeah. own almond butter, so that sounds. Oh, good. nice, nice, <laughs> yes, yeah. But um, you know, do that when you start feeling hungry, just to have that little bit, okay? And, and that will start training your body to not release the hunger hormone as fast okay so okay. could i just go get a big tablespoon of almond butter <laughs> yes i don't know how many times i've done that so um so thrive market um i, I am an affiliate of thrive market so i i will have a link down in the description for anybody else who's watching this click on that it's awesome um but they have this um uh, so you know those like single serve apple sauces that you get for kids, right? You, uh -huh. you pick a little thing and it's, it's mm -hmm. you, you put it in your mouth and squeeze. And well, they have almond butter in that same kind of container, which is awesome, right? Because almond right. butter, you know, all the oils go up to the top and everything else settles at the bottom, and you have to end up stirring it, right? And so this being in that little squishy container, I could just like knead it up, right? And yeah, there's been times that I just opened that up. <laughs> I got take, some of those for the plane. Yeah. I had a couple of those for the plane. I think that's why my ketone levels were good yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the, the almonds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't realize that a couple of them, the the walnut and the pecan had cashews in it. But oh well, never mind. So so Breed cashews, pizza. cashews are not bad cashews are higher in non-fibrous carbs than others but they're also incredibly high in in really good monounsaturated fat okay, oh, okay. So cashews are one of those things especially for you um with where you are um if you if you grab a handful of mixed nuts and you see that there's you know two or three cashews in there do it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, but, I mean, you're not grabbing a whole handful of cashews. Yeah, you know, it, it's that right. kind of, you know? Right. Got it. So, yeah. So, I mean, definitely for you, I, I like the idea that you're, um, you're, you're getting more active. Okay. Um, I like the idea that uh, even, you know, when you weren't being as on top of what you were eating, that your uh, your ketones still stayed in the, the ketogenic range. Um, that's awesome. It's amazing. Um, I think honestly, at this point for you right now, we need to start concentrating on trying to train your body to just eat less often. Okay. You know, um, mm -hmm. in, increasing the fat in the morning will help uh, keep you uh, from getting hungry until later on at night and then when you get uh, hungry again, you know, have a, a quick little snack. Because um, uh, eventually the goal is one meal a day, okay? Um, and that, that's the goal. Um, that tends to be one of the best places that our bodies actually naturally like to be. Because um, okay. during the, you know, 23 hours that you're fasting, especially if you're not feeling hungry your body's seriously putting in some work to regenerate itself okay um, yeah so as you're burning that energy not only are you burning fat but um during a fast you're also converting white fat into brown fat and brown fat is actually good fat in your body right i'm, I'm going to be doing a whole video on that later i'm still gathering <laughs> research for it right um 
but it's also taking your damaged cells and metabolizing your damaged cells as energy too, just to, you know, recreate. Yeah. And, and it recreates those cells in a, in a healthier manner. Right. So it, it, it's an amazing process, but I hate it when people say that you have to do it. And then that that's when people stop doing, you know, their, their healthy eating is when they're on, right. you know, right. so, uh, that is the goal. That is not the, um, the, the task right now. The task right now is just to increase that fat in the morning. And when you do get hungry, eat something small, just to get your body more in the mode of going longer without a significant amount of food. Okay. Okay. And, and then, yeah, uh, you could absolutely track your calories. Um, but again, uh, if you find that you are eating more than what you're burning, um, you have two options, and one of them is not eat less. Okay. One of them is what? <laughs> you you have you have two options, and one of them is not eating less. Okay. 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 Um, you're supposed to be at a calorie deficit. That means that you're eating uh, less calories than you are burning. Right. Okay. So you could either eat less calories or you could burn more calories. Oh, got it. <laughs> it's a little slow. <laughs> yeah. Got right. it. So um, the other option is getting yourself to where you're eating less often. Right. It's a lot harder to eat 2000 calories in one sitting. Oh. So it's just quite naturally. Um, right. you, you just won't be eating as much, but you do still. And it's a lot easier. Uh, when you're eating everything in one sitting to make sure that you're getting the stuff that you need, right? Yeah. That Veggies. you're getting your leafy green vegetables, you're getting your protein, you're getting your fats, you know? Um, one of my favorite meals when I am uh, just eating once a day is a steak with broccoli covered in cheese next to it and a spinach salad with all the wonderful fatty deliciousness in it. I, I think you and I have actually had a conversation about the way my yeah. salad in, end up. I, yeah. my, my salads, my salads need to be winning an award for how delicious they are. I'm telling you. <laughs> right. So how much water do I need to drink? Do you base it on your weight? I've heard like drink a gallon of water, drink your, however much you weigh, divide that in half and that many ounces right. of drink. So is there a so, hard and fast rule? No, no. And anybody who tells you that there's a hard and fast rule, they just don't understand how it works. Okay. okay. We, we actually need a lot less water than what is kind of colloquially thought. Okay. Um, what's more important is our electrolytes. Okay? okay. If you are drinking water and 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 you, you feel like you clean. can't get enough, it's not because you're not getting enough water. It's because you need more electrolytes. Okay. You know, um, when I get like that, I literally go into my fridge. I pick up my jar of pickles and I drink the juice straight out of the jar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, Whatever was... you need to do to get your electrolytes in. That's, was... that's how I. I ordered some electrolytes today because it. What's his name on YouTube? That guy that I listed. I can't remember. Anyway, he had he had a sponsor on there, and it was five dollars to get one of every flavor. So I'm like, gotcha, cool. Gotcha. Um, I was, once you get before, them. Yeah. Before I left, I was I have um, pink salt that you know, so you can grind it. Yeah, yeah. I was going in there and putting one of those under my tongue and sucking. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Now, oh. pink salt is good. It does have a little magnesium in it. That's what gives it its pink, right? Um, it is a lot of sodium, which we definitely need sodium. But remember, we need the potassium. And we need higher levels of magnesium than just what pink salt gives. Right. So. Like, that's why pickle juice is such a big thing. You know, you, you hear everybody talking about uh, eating pickles and drinking pickle juice. It's because pickle juice actually pickles. has... Except on hamburgers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I mean, pickles have the, the perfect combination of potassium, magnesium, and, and, and uh, sodium. It's 
it's great. But yes, um, when you well, get those, especially if those uh, electrolytes are in a powder form, look at the ingredients, make sure there's no maltodextrin. Okay. He said they were keto, so I trusted him. Um, <laughs> it how was many conversations have we had there, bro? That is the last name, Delauer, I think is who it was. Okay, anyway, Thomas what? Delauer, so Thomas Delauer is <laughs> amazing. He is, he is somebody that I follow, and uh, it, it, it's actually uh, one of the things that I do on my channel is I'll watch his videos and he gets like super like technical scientific into oh, his videos yeah, he right? does. like crazy deep into the science right and i think I glaze over. he says well <laughs> see here's the thing i understand all that but you know my audience wants it simple you know right so so a lot of the times i'll take the stuff that he's doing videos on and i'll i'll do the video again just putting it in uh, more layman's terms right uh, he, he he is great but here's the thing okay um the thrive market and i want to let everybody here know uh, about this too um just because it says keto and it's just because it is from a a verified source a trusted source does not necessarily mean that it has the best mm -hmm. ingredients in it okay there are um, items that I have almost purchased from Thrive Market for my own kitchen that I looked at the ingredients and maltodextrin was in it. And the thing is, is because maltodextrin doesn't have any uh, measurable calories or measurable carbs, they can say that it's keto, but they're not taking into account that maltodextrin has a glycemic index of 163 and it turns into double the amount of glucose in your system than sugar. That's just crazy. Every time I hear you say that, that is just crazy craziness. Yeah. You know who's bad for having... I tell everybody that asks me, like, is this a good thing? Well, the front label is marketing. Uh -huh. The truth is on the back. So you yeah. have to read every single solitary label. I picked something up at... Costco. It's like the first thing I do is flip stuff over. I, if it says keto, uh -huh. I just flip it right over. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what it was. It was something new there. Oh, it was a cracker. Oh. And I turned uh -huh. it over. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely want to second that. Rice, flour, that. In it. rice oh, yeah. flour is not keto, people. It's a grain. <laughs> it's like I threw it down. Yeah. Yeah, I just so, I mean, so bad. It's like People probably there, think I'm nuts when I'm reading labels because I'll just go, <laughs> what's wrong right? with these people? <laughs> and the thing is, is that there are, so some people can handle like modified wheat flour or enhanced blah, 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 right? Um, because basically they, in, in the lab, right, they extract out the stuff, right, and then leave the rest of the stuff. So technically, technically, it doesn't have carbs now, you know. Uh, it, technically, it doesn't have carbohydrates. In a laboratory, right? In a laboratory, right? So there are some people that can handle that. It, it's like me with my sucralose. Okay, I, oh, I can drink sucralose all day long, no problem, right? Your stomach so bad. Not a chance, right? So um, I stay away from. I mean, honestly. Uh, I think there might be like one or two things in my kitchen that actually says keto on it. All right. You know, I, I, I try to stay as close to the natural source of food as possible. Um, I try to stay out of the middle aisles of the, of the grocery store and I stick with the outside where, you know, you're actually getting real food and not science experiments. All right. <laughs> you know, um, but, uh, again, uh, the whole point of the system that you're on, the whole point of uh, Dragon Keto is to figure out what your body likes and, and doesn't like, you know, and, and figure out how to allow you the most freedom and still actually reach your goals. So, All right. yeah, oh, I did pay attention to the multidextrin. Yeah, I did get some of that um, almond 
coconut almond milk that you told me about? Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, in my little frother, <laughs> that thing looks like whipped cream when it comes to <laughs> Right? It's like right? It's amazing. So, so I started making my own. I mean, it doesn't whip up as nice, but it yeah. still tastes good. Because I don't add any, I don't put any salt, I don't put any sweetener, nothing. I just soak them, cool. dump them, whirl them. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, could, I wish I you could. You could add find, salt if you want. I know, I know, but it doesn't. It's not a bad thing. The taste or anything. I just yeah. wish I could find a um, recipe or something for all that stuff that's left behind from the almonds. Hmm. Hmm. What about drying it out and uh, um, putting it through a food processor and almost making like a uh, an almond flour? Oh, I could try that. Yeah, I'll try yeah, that because my, really my air fryer dehydrates too. So, oh yeah, Do that. there awesome. you go. Okay, I'll give it a try. <laughs> that works, <laughs> and then and then you have uh, you know natural uh, almond flour too. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So, um, anything else that you you want to bring up? Yeah. Any other questions? No. I don't think so. All right. Awesome. Well, um, we we know what our goal is now. What we're focusing on, right? I believe so. Focusing? I'm going to track my calories. <laughs> I'm going to, um, you know, I could probably get more steps in because we have stairs. There's a, I mean, two flights of stairs. I could, you know, try to get 10,000 steps instead of 5,000. There you go. But tomorrow I'm going to increase my route to, because I upped my thing on my, my goal on my Samsung uh, yeah. fitness app. Yeah. And oh, I'll download my fitness pal too. Does it work with? Yes. Does it work with the Samsung out? Yes. Oh okay. no. Does, does it actually like uh, communicate with the Samsung app? No, I actually yeah. haven't found too many things that do. Um, I it might integrate a little bit, but um, so I so my fitness pal. I think integrates with the Samsung to to transmit the steps. Oh well, that's fine. Cause, yeah. Because I think um, Herb Manager did that too. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Play around with that, and I mean, at worst case scenario, at the end of the day, if you have to take your steps from uh, your Samsung Health app and enter them into the my fitness pal yeah so i'm gonna track my calories try to get more steps gonna get my weights hopefully here soon um and just try to eat less often there you go all right <laughs> yes i i, I, I was getting cringy for a second <laughs> yeah 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 I've seen all kinds of recipes, like with cream cheese and ham, and but you have to be careful with ham. It has a lot of sugar in it. Yeah, sometimes. yeah. But I actually also, prefer to stay away from ham, um, but uh, if you get like a um, roasted turkey breast or something, mm -hmm. turkey makes yeah. me sleepy, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but anyway, well, I could do. Oh, I know. I could do like. I have some chicken, some grilled chicken, and mix it with some cream cheese and some jalapenos and some cheese and there you go. Make that sounds garlic. wonderful. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, you know, just got to get creative. Yep. And so, that's all it is. Getting creative, making sure that we are uh, chicken stuff in. <laughs> yeah. And well, electrolytes. I mean, electrolytes, because I I have a feeling you're drinking enough water. And you're not getting enough electrolytes, right? Because you don't lose electrolytes just through sweating. You know, you, well, you end up using them throughout much. the whole day. Well, and <laughs> you end up using them throughout the whole day, and once they're expended, um, they they get passed through uh, through urine. So, okay. So does that yeah. could that be sometimes why in the afternoon I kind of get foggy in my brain? 
Well, yeah, electrolytes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been craving yeah. eggs, too. That's weird. I just, just dream about fried eggs, eggs and ghee. <laughs> then eat eggs. <laughs> Fry up an egg and ghee and, and put that on top it's, of whatever it is you're eating for dinner. On a choco made out of cheese. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And some uncured <laughs> bacon. There you go. <laughs> Am I there making you, you hungry? <laughs> um, almost. Uh, I mean, it's eight o'clock. It, it, it's my uh, time to eat finally. So uh, once we're uh, off the call here, that's exactly what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go make dinner. <laughs> All right. I don't think I have any more questions. All right. Well, uh, anything comes up, absolutely feel free to uh, to reach out to me, message me. Um, yeah, I will. I will start. Met I'm going to start sharing my stats every day with you again. So. All right. Great. I'll perfect. That, uh, that that definitely helps me um, make sure I know where our next steps are. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. All right, I'll talk to you later, camera. All bye. right. Bye.